Do you enjoy eating at great local restaurants, boutique shopping, having a beer at a beer cafe, or just walking around with friends and just enjoying the scenery? Well, guess what? In this week's video, I'm gonna share with you everything that you need to know about downtown historic Leesburg, which is actually Loudoun County's original town center. And we're getting started right now. Boom! Hey everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor. As always, it's another beautiful day right here in Northern Virginia. If it's your first time here on my channel, please smash that subscribe button because every week I release videos about living, working, playing, top neighborhoods, pros and cons, cost of living, basically everything that you need to know about living right here in Northern Virginia. Literally every single day I get calls, texts, emails from folks just like you who are moving to or relocating to Northern Virginia and I'm so happy and grateful for it. So if you've been thinking about moving to the area, you know, reach out to me first, you know, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We can even do a live Zoom call one-on-one. -on -one. But whatever you gotta do to get a hold of me, just know I got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Downtown historic Leesburg. So excited about this video right here. So one of my favorite parts about filming this channel, living in Northern Virginia, is I'm actually on set, you know, taking the drone out and filming everything. So I get to actually appreciate a lot of these sites even more because I see things that I probably normally wouldn't see when I'm actually out there just hanging out. But I had a blast filming this video. In fact, I was there yesterday. Uh, my wife and I, we were just walking around downtown Leesburg. And we would grab some pizza, grab some dessert. It's just a great, great place to go overall. Hands down, it's one of the most picturesque downtowns, basically in all of Virginia. It is beautiful. You can uh, there's museums, boutique and antique shopping, a lot of great local mama pop restaurants, breweries, wineries, everything. Uh, they got ice cream shop. They have a candy shop for the kiddos, so there's so many things to do. So I'm so excited to share this video with you. So let's get it started right now. So the first thing that you gotta know about downtown Leesburg is the location. So downtown Leesburg, it's gonna be basically in the center of all Leesburg. It's gonna be about 40 miles away from Washington DC. It's gonna be about 16 miles away from Dulles International Airport. Now the cool thing about downtown Leesburg is anywhere in Loudoun County where you may live, you can be within 30 minutes. How cool is that? Me personally, I'm about 15 to 17 minutes away from downtown Leesburg. That's why I go there a lot. When I used to live in Fairfax, I never went to downtown Leesburg because it was you know, 45 minutes away, but now I live so close. I love going there. Like I talked about earlier in the video, I go there a lot just to walk around, date nights with my wife, or just go there for you know some ice cream. Great place to go overall. But another cool thing about the location of downtown Leesburg is right, right next to it, you have Idly Park which I believe is probably the best rec center in all of Loudoun County. You have the huge pool there with the water slide. Who doesn't love a water slide? And then you have the WNOD trail right there. Kind of actually goes through downtown Leesburg. And I've talked about the WNOD trail in previous videos. What it is, it's, it's Virginia's longest trail. Starts off in Percival, goes all the way to Sherlington, which is a, a neighborhood in Arlington. Another thing with the location of downtown Leesburg is you have a lot of homes condos, single families, and townhomes. I can be walking distance to downtown Leesburg, but we're gonna dive into that more later on in the video. Now, the next thing to know about downtown Leesburg is probably the best part. That's the eating, the drinking, and the shopping. So downtown Leesburg actually has over 40 restaurants, bars, wineries, and breweries. How cool is that? They're in Hands down, the separator between like downtown Leesburg and let's say like One Loudon or Reston Town Center is everything in downtown Leesburg is gonna be a local mom and pop shop, local boutique shop. These are restaurants and bars that you're not gonna find anywhere else in Virginia. So it definitely has a different feel, a different vibe. So, so many places to pick from. You have Oyster Bar, some of the best oysters in town. You wanna try a cool craft cocktail, go to Tar Benders. You got fireworks pizza, probably some of the best pizza in all of Loudoun County. In fact, my wife and I ate there yesterday, which I mentioned earlier in the video, it was awesome. You have an ice cream shop, 
candy shop. If you want to try fine dining, you got Lightfoot, which is an awesome American fine dining restaurant. And then you have Mom's Apple Pie. This place is a staple in Leesburg. The best apple pie you'll find basically anywhere in Virginia. I was so mad when I was there yesterday filming this video and just walking around because they closed by the time I got there. I'm so mad, but I just might go there tonight. So when I was filming this video yesterday, a lot of cool little shops I saw, which I probably never seen before or just didn't realize. I saw a psychic place, never seen that before. That's kind of cool. I saw a place, uh, they do hydration. So you can get one of those IVs in you, like if you're hungover. I've heard of those and seen those on TV. I know they're like in Las Vegas. I had no idea they had it here in downtown Leesburg. You also have a lot of cool boutique and antique shops. You know, buy, buy some knickknacks. Uh, I saw a place where it had a big selection of like hot sauces and barbecue sauces. And if you guys know me, I love me some hot sauce. Now, one sad thing that I did notice when I was filming this video yesterday was I noticed a lot of restaurants have closed. And I'm assuming it's due to COVID. COVID did not do the restaurant industry any good at all. But I guess the flip side is now that we're opening back up, hopefully those, you know, vacant buildings will get filled up, put some new thriving restaurants slash bars in there. But it was sad seeing a lot of cool places I used to go a lot that are now closed. So like I said, everything that downtown Leesburg has to offer with the eating, the drinking, the shopping, the candy, the ice cream, this is the best part. Even if you don't want to you can literally not spend a dime. You can just walk around the shops and it's just so, you can just see the, the picturesque downtown. You can feel the history, you know, especially a nice sunny day like I had yesterday. That's one of my favorite parts about downtown Leesburg is everything you can do, no matter what you are, a kid, a growing up, a teenager, something for everybody there. If you're getting any value out of this video, please do me a favor, smash that like button. Really helps me with the YouTube algorithms. That way I can keep on creating awesome content all about living right here in Northern Virginia. Now the next thing that you gotta know about downtown Leesburg, and that's me, First Friday. So First Friday is so awesome. So what they do is the first Friday of every month, I don't think they do January because it's coldest, coldest month of the year. So what they do is they close off downtown Leesburg in terms of the roads and they open it up. So everybody's walking on the streets because there's no cars. They may have like wine tasting, uh, bands playing, activities for the kids, uh, free food samples. It is so fun, especially during the summertime. Now, however, um, because of COVID, uh, First Friday has pretty much been canceled the past year. So hopefully uh, next month it'll come back up or if not, maybe August. But maybe by the time you watch this video, you know, First Friday's back on every single month. But it's so much fun. And if you're here in the area and First Friday's back on, you 1000% have to check it out. So some other cool events that you can expect to see in downtown Leesburg, 4th of July parade. Uh, 4th of July is actually only a couple weeks from uh, today. So I'm definitely gonna be down there. They have the cool parade and they have fireworks at close by Ida Lee Park, uh, Christmas Day parades, uh, Taste of Leesburg events will be there. And that's where like maybe local restaurants, uh, they'll have like little tasting booths, just walk around, try everybody's different food and, and you know maybe buy some for yourself to take home. But a lot of cool events all throughout the year. Like I said, it's been kind of light this past year because of COVID, but I can definitely see an explosion of events coming very soon. Now we gotta talk about the homes. So if you love downtown Leesburg, you may actually want to live close by. So what I did for the purposes of this video is I'm going to talk about homes that are within half a mile of downtown Leesburg because that's a very easy walk. So we'll start off with condos. Uh, condos in that area, they can be in that $400,000 to $800,000 price range. In fact, they're almost complete with a new construction condo building. It's going to be a four or five level condo building. Ultra luxury. Those are gonna go all the way up to about $800,000 for like a three bedroom, 1,800 square feet. But hands down, the best bang for your buck in terms of condos, this is gonna be a two level condos in a neighborhood called Crescent Place, which is a super easy walk to downtown Leesburg. In fact, you talked about this neighborhood in previous videos. But for like that four seventy-five dollars to $525,000 price range, you can get like a two level, one car garage, 2,500 square foot condo. So that hands down be the most bang for your buck in terms of condos. Now the price range of townhomes in the area, they're gonna be in that $300,000 price range. That'll probably be like a two bedroom, one bath townhouse, maybe built in the 50s or 60s, all the way up to $850,000. This will hands down be an ultra luxury townhouse, maybe even with an elevator, 3,000 square feet, two car garage, built in the past couple of years. Now off to single families. So single family homes in the downtown Leesburg area, they're gonna start off about $500,000. That may be like a three bedroom, one bath home. Actually built as far back as 1900. Oh, I know it seems like, like a long time ago, but wait, 
all the way up to about a little bit over a million dollars. So actually, in the downtown Leesburg area, you can actually buy homes that are built as far back as 1810. That is extremely crazy. In fact, don't tell anybody I told you this, but I've heard through many sources, whether they're realtors or friends, that a lot of these homes built in the 1800s in Leesburg have had many ghost sightings over the years. I personally haven't seen it, but if I actually saw a ghost while I was like showing a house, I'm not quite sure how I would react. But I love telling you guys stories like this when I hear it, just that way you're fully informed. Again, you don't have to actually live in downtown Leesburg to enjoy downtown Leesburg. Like I said earlier, anywhere in Lowen County where you may live, you can be within 30 minute drive of downtown Leesburg, but you gotta go there if you haven't been. Like I said, it's one of the best places to go in Virginia, especially in Lowen County. Try their local restaurants, try your boutique shopping, walk around, bring your family, bring your friends. And if you wanna learn more about living in Leesburg, Virginia, check out these videos right here, and I'll see you on the next video.